Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy CMB. Back in the building. Back with another video, guys. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I drop a new vid. Now let's get to it. So apparently, uh, Canelo Alvarez uh, hasn't been in any negotiations with Billy Joe Saunders, uh, according to uh, Oscar De La Hoya. And I think Billy Joe Saunders mentioned it himself in, an, in an, another interview that he did. Now I was watching up a, a uh, I was watching a video on Fight Hype. They were interviewing Oscar De La Hoya, and they were questioning him about maybe fighting Andrade or Jamal Charlo uh, for the Cinco de Mayo weekend. And it was interesting because when it came to Jamal Charlo. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya said that that ship has sailed because they offered Jamal Charlo uh, a lucrative deal to fight Canelo uh, sometime last year. And uh, I found that quite interesting because I haven't heard anything about that. I haven't heard anything about that in the press. You know, if, if such a lucrative deal was offered to Jamal Charlo to fight Canelo Alvarez, uh, that would have been everywhere in the press. Uh, you would have been hearing about that. I'm sure Jamal Charlo would have been vocal about that. Because he's been chasing Canelo for a fight <laughs> since 154. But there was no win of any offer like that of being put on the table. Nobody heard anything. Now, De La Hoya said that it wasn't Jamal who turned it down. I, I guess he's saying that somebody on his team probably turned it down. Uh, but he said Jamal didn't turn it down, but he didn't know who turned it down. So, uh, sounds kind of fishy to me, but I do remember uh, Canelo Alvarez, when, when Jamal Charlo became his mandatory, uh, Canelo Alvarez got a franchise title. They made up a franchise title at WBC, and then they gifted the real title to Jamal Charlo and uh, Canelo didn't have to fight him. So he automatic, Jamal Charlo automatically became the WBC champion at 160 and they made up a title for Canelo Alvarez. So I don't know. I, I'm not going to call uh, Oscar De La Hoya a liar. I don't really like to throw that word around like that because, you know, there's always a chance that he could be telling the truth, but uh, the optics of it, the, from me putting two and two together, uh, I don't know, it's it's not that believable. I, I got to see more proof uh, to believe this story because I've never heard anything about this, and I'm sure a lot of you haven't heard anything about them offering uh, Charlo anything. So, all right, guys, let me know what you think about this uh situation that's going on. Uh, Oscar did say he was headed to Mexico to sit down with Canelo to talk about their next opponent as well. So uh, if he's not fighting Billy Joe, then who's it going to be? A lot of people are speculating that, that he's going to try to talk him into fighting Triple G for, uh, for the third, for a trilogy. Uh, I guess Callum Smith could still be on the, on the, the table. He was another one that was thrown around. Honestly, uh, I, if he stays at 168, if he fights at 168, uh, I would love to see him bang it out with David Benavidez, but who knows who they're going to fight, you know? Maybe it's somebody we don't know who they are. All right, let me let me know what you guys think in the comments section, guys. Do you believe Oscar De La Hoya, uh, or do you think, you know, Charlo was ducking smoke with Canelo, or do you, or you think it was the other way around? Let me know in the comment section, guys. This is a CMB. I'm out. Peace.